How's it going, everybody? My name's Dave Whipple, and you're watching Bush Radical. It's about a year ago that Aaron Nelson, a YouTube creator that Brooke and I know, he, uh, he kind of passed along a challenge, you know, let us, show us your three favorite knives. I thought that was a cool concept, your three favorite knives. Brooke and I had just got back from alone, so of course, you know, I wanted that knife to be part of it, and I was eight months away from being able to include that knife. So today, almost a year later, I'm gonna take up your challenge, Aaron. If somebody else out there wants to make a video showing their three favorite knives, love to see what you guys choose, what's your favorite, and why it's your favorite. As for me, I'm just gonna say screw the rules, and I'm gonna go with about five knives. Let's take a look and see what they are. So if you've watched this channel before, you know I'm pretty utilitarian. I like stuff that's quite simple. For years and years, this is the kind of knife that I carried. This is a forger craft. It's supposed to be about that long. I just chopped it down and, and made it into a, you know, just kind of a little do-it-all knife. About an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, more handle than blade. Just something you can use to, to cut a rope or pick your teeth or whatever you're doing. I've had several of these over the years, and this one is what I carried for a long time. Still one of my favorite knives, though I honestly, I don't use it as much as I did. Oh, this is one of my favorites, too. Totally. This knife is Condor Woodlaw. I bought it as a blank, put the handles on it. This knife is the subject of the very first video I ever posted on YouTube. It was a review of the Condor Woodlaw. Uh, the handle is ridiculously simple. The blade is ridiculously simple, but it does have a nice point to it. I like that style of a blade where you've got a really good usable point. Even though I kind of had to make this knife, this is the first Condor knife I ever bought. And the sheath is made out of a briefcase and some Tandy leather rivets. I carried this knife for a long time. Love this knife. This is another knife that I really love. I, it's, this is a Condor bush lure. I have two of these. I have this one that's got a micarta handle, which is a nice little knife. I also have one that's got a wooden handle that I've carried for the better part of a year. And uh, I have also have a son who I think has confiscated the wood handle bush lure because I haven't seen it for the last few weeks. I need to talk to that boy and see where my other knife is. Great knife, great sheath, for the money. Uh, I just love this knife. One of my absolute favorites. One of the reasons I don't carry the old forger craft knife much anymore is because of Condor. When Condor really started to kind of become real popular, I think one of the reasons why they did so well is because they had great designs that were affordable. They had quality leather sheaths. It's just, it's a very attractive package for a lot of people like myself that want a good knife, but they don't want to pay stupid prices and they don't want something that's got a rat tang or something that's fancy. They just want a good utilitarian knife. I'm a big fan of Condor. I love what they do. I love the fact that they put out cool designs that are, that are full tang, solid, good steel, and they're reasonably priced. It's just a win-win. I'm glad they're around. Oh, this of course, this is my alone knife and this is another Condor. So as far as my three favorite knives go, <laughs> I'm already up to number four and three of them are Condors. This is, uh, this is the Hudson Bay. You know I've modified this a bit. It's, the handle's a lot bigger than when they come stock. Uh, very nice knife. Uh, you know, I'm not a big knife guy, but this knife, whenever I take this knife out, I, I find a million things I want to do with a big knife, and I kind of shift right back into that big knife mentality. And this is one of my favorite knives. It's so simple, it's so basic, it, it's so useful. It did me very, very well on a loan. It did everything I wanted to do with a knife. Of course, this knife has a lot of sentimental value to me, but aside from the sentimental value, it's very functional, it's very strong. As far as a big knife goes, this is a great place to start if you don't already have a big knife and you kind of want to see what the whole big knife thing is about. Great knife, one of my favorites. I love it. If you've watched this channel, you've probably seen pretty much every knife I own. I'm not a collector. I've only got maybe a dozen knives in there, just stuff I've picked up here and there over the years. I would have to put this guy right in the list of my favorite knives. And this is the LT Wright Genesis. Uh, a couple reasons I really love this knife. Without a doubt, this is the highest quality knife I own. It's the highest quality knife I've ever owned. It's about a $220 knife. 
Uh, LT Wright sent me this knife to review. I wouldn't tell you it was a great knife if it wasn't. I've already done my review, but the more I carry this knife, the more I use this knife, the more it kind of sets itself apart. It's a great, great knife. It feels great. It, it keeps an edge better than the other knives that I have. I find that when I'm grabbing a knife, I'm reaching for this one more and more and more. The more I use it, the more I like it. Uh, the bigger fan I become of what LT Wright does. It has a very nice sheath to it. It's also kind of, um, it's also kind of a compact package. This sheath is very, very sleek, very streamlined. The whole package seems very compact, very refined. I have to put this one right in with the other knives. Although this knife, I've had the least amount of time of all these knives. I find that I like this knife more every day. It's a great knife, one of my favorites. A couple more things I want to cover real quick. If you guys have seen a lot of a chatter in the comments about Ulu's, this is what we're talking about. Brooke did her three favorite knives, and this was one of the knives that she chose and it got so much attention on her channel and so much interest. There's so many people that said, I would like one of these, that I said, okay, I'll build 20 of them for sale, and if somebody wants one, they can have one. Well, 20 of them sold in like three hours on eBay. And I was like, I was like oh crap, now I've sold 20 Ulus. I've got to make 20 Ulus, and it took me, I was thinking I'd make one here and one there. I ended up having all 20 that I had to make within the next four days. So I spent almost a week doing nothing but making Ulus. So if you see a bunch of chatter in the comments about Ulus or if there's any Ulus coming out or if there's any left, that, this is the knife that people are asking about. Because nobody on this channel has a clue what that's all about. If you subscribe to my wife's channel and to this channel, you're probably aware of the whole Ulu thing and that we have made some Ulus for sale. They sold out, we don't have any more. But if you just subbed to Bush Radical and you see comments about Ulus, this is what we're talking about. In a couple weeks I should have enough free time to put together another 20 Ulus for the people that didn't get one that want one. Or if you'd like to watch a video about the process, I filmed all of that and it's on bushradical.com. It's a $12 download, you can watch the video, it's like 50 minutes long. Walks you through the process, start to finish, what to use and how to go about making your own Alaska Ulu. It'd save you it'd save you some money just to watch the video and make your own. If you want one that I made, it's a couple more weeks and I'll have another 20 ready. So if you saw comments about the Ulu and you didn't know what we were talking about, that's what was going on. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I've got one more knife I want to show you that's part of my favorites list. But I'm going to wait and do that in another video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out my three favorite knives, which actually turned out to be like six. And I've got another one coming in the next video. Hopefully I cleared up anybody's questions about Ulus. If you see them in the comments and you weren't sure what the heck we were talking about, that's what was going on. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell next to it so you can get updates of when I post videos, which I try to do quite often. My name's Dave Whipple, and thank you so much for watching Bush Radical. Be radical, eh? See you soon.